Hi, I'm Mike from Three Brick Friends. Today I've got a different type of tutorial. I'm going to show you how to wire in LEDs into Lego, effectively. I've got a modified headlight brick and a stud and another brick, and we're going to put this LED inside it to show you how I wired up our Palace Gig venue. The Palace Gig venue's got 66 LEDs inside in total on the stage for the stage lighting. All those wires go through the back of the building and out onto copper tape, which then travels onto a transformer. In my case, I use Hornby railway transformers. They're 16 volt DC, 12 volt AC. We use the AC, which is um, the bit that controls the train effectively. And that allows the bulbs to flash because this bulb is a blue and red flashing bulb. So it alternates between blue and red. These are pretty much the things you need. You could do it with a lot less. I've got copper tape here. Copper tape is an excellent thing to use in doll's houses and various methods because it transfers electricity nicely. So what we're going to do, we've got this bit of wood, which is not important, but I'm going to stick copy tape on it, two pieces, and then we'll solder the wires of the LED onto that. And then off that we'll take a wire. So that shows you the principle of what I've done. Obviously, we could just wire that straight into the transformer as it is, but, um, but I want to show you what, how I put multiple lights into a single transformer. So the first step is to clear the workspace. The important thing at the moment is to bear in mind this soldering iron is incredibly hot. I've got it plugged in, it's ready to go, we mustn't touch it. The other thing to bear in mind is if you don't know what you're doing, please do not follow my instruction and burn yourself or anything silly like that. Obviously, electricity and heat, intense heat from a soldering iron can be very dangerous. I mean, while I was doing the past gig venue, I burnt my hand a number of times and it hurts a lot. <laughs> so you must be very careful. So if we just clear away some of this space out of the way and we'll work on the first stage, which is effectively putting the LED inside the, putting the LED inside the headlight brick. Okay, so the first thing to do is take the stud. I'm using clear one by one round studs. Put that on first because um, my first experiment with this is if you put that in, it sticks out ever so slightly. And if you glue it in that position, when you put the stud on, it doesn't fit properly. So we put the stud on first and then we're gonna hold it in place like so. And we're gonna drip glue down both sides of it and then we're just going to sit here for five minutes holding it like that until it goes off. The glue I'm using is poly cement. It's modelling glue. Um, it's made by Hornby, um, a model railway company in the UK. And I'm not sure the best type of glue, to be honest with you, but this works fine. It's a solvent based cement um, for using on plastic modelling kits. And it works fine. It's not come away yet. I've had the lights on for fair amount of time ago. Obviously they get slightly hot, but not that hot being LEDs. So poly cement is my choice. As I say, this is how I have done it. It's a tutorial on my skills, as opposed to a tutorial telling you the best way to do it. I'm sure there are better ways to do it. You will see later on, I am a terrible solderer. Make a right mess of it. But that's okay, as long as you make a good clean contact what it looks like doesn't matter too much. So let's go ahead and do the first stage. You've probably noticed that um, I have paper down and I have cardboard down to try and protect the table from glue and solder. As I said, drop the LED in and we're just gonna drop a couple of blobs of glue down, one down each side and get the glue to run. One there and on the other side, trying our hardest to let it drip down the Lego. Sorry, drip down into the Lego. So now I'm just gonna sit here for five minutes holding that and that will glue in place. It'll set, I'm not sure how long it takes, but I've, when I was doing those 66 bulbs in the Palace King venue, this is what I spent my evening doing while watching television. Okay, so that's 
almost set, it's only set enough to hold itself. So we'll put it down, we'll let it just continue to solidify itself and we'll work on showing you the copper tape stage. So we'll put that aside for a second. Okay, here we are. This is my cardboard. Right, lead free solder, soldering iron, clippers, you need clippers that will go down to a very small size because the wire we're using is very thin. Okay, so for the purposes of today, we'll just cut a couple of bits off. I'll put up on the screen now the picture of the back of the Palace Gig venue. You can see how many wires are going to each of the copper tape strips. I'd use the copper tape strips just purely to bring wires together. You could use a block. It's just an easy way of bringing all the pieces of wire together. When I've been looking at that, I've cut two bits of wire, a red and a black. Okay, and I'm just gonna clip off the ends. Now I've got something to work with. Okay, that's the last job for that, I think. Okay, I'll pick up all these little bits up later. Right, so we've got two wires and We've got the copper tape, which is over here, and we've got the block. So, take the copper tape. Don't worry about this plastic contraption. This is um, a design from slot cars. If you make a routed track for slot cars, you can put that in the groove of the track, and then you run it along, and it will lay the tape down for you. It's very clever. Anyway, that's not really um, what this video is about. So let's not worry about it. Let's just cut a couple of pieces of that. Okay, so this copper tape is, as it described, it's copper with a sticky back. So we're just gonna use this block of wood to stick it on, to give it a firm surface to solder to. And as you saw earlier, what I used in the Palace Gig venue was Lego tiles. Stuck a Lego tile on top of the plate so that it could be removed. And stick that on there, push it down really hard and it's pretty good glueiness on the back. Obviously the solder is pretty powerful when you put it on, so it may come up if you do too much on one strip. Then you put the other one, so we've got one for red, one for black. Make sure they're down nicely. Just get rid of the rubbish. Okay, so here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop a blob. I solder slightly differently to other people because I'm not very good at it. But what I do is I drop a blob on there and then I'll reheat it again and just drop that in and it works quite nicely. It's an easy way of doing it. If you try and, I haven't got three hands to hold all three things to solder at the same time, that's my problem. As I said, I'm very much an amateur at this, but that doesn't make me wrong. It just doesn't make me right. Okay, so let's do that then. So we're gonna do a blob for each of these wires. So coming into this, we're gonna have the light LED and then straight off that and that's going to go to the power pack. So there'll be four blobs effectively. But we might well just do one at a time. Okay, so there's the strip. And then just quickly reheat it again while it's still quite liquidy. Okay, so, I don't know if you can see that, but now we have two soldering points going that way. Let's put that aside for a second. Care careful with it. Keep it on, but we'll keep it aside. Okay, so, let me think what the next stage is. Oh, this is complicated. Okay, so we, we're back to the light bulb. To create the spotlights, all I've done is I've taken a one by one Technic brick and feed that on the back of the light. It takes a bit to get over the capacitor that's built in, but it does do it. And then there's a clip. It's a one by two plate, modified plate with a clip on the back. And in this case, I'm used to black one by two modified tile. So that then clips on the back of the lighting rig and you've got your spotlight effectively. It's slightly different to the ones I used in the, in the 
good venue, but it's safe fit. So now that will theoretically work if we just put it straight on transformer. Right. So that's that's it going straight through. But as I say, I want to show you the soldering techniques. So let's um, let's put that aside. So now we've got the lights. Move that all back over there. Bring in our cardboard. Okay, we're going to lie that down there. And we're going to solder another two blotches. I mean, I could just solder into these, which is what I would normally do. But trying to show the principles of the copper tape, which is something that isn't used much, I don't think, in Lego lighting. Okay. Okay, and that is almost already gone off. Solder is incredibly quick at turning back into metal, it's excellent. So, now we've got a circuit, if I can just force that around to bend. Okay, so I've just changed the angle of the camera slightly so that you can see it better. But that's it, basically. That's, that's where we are, it's finished. So we attach our controller. Stick that wire in there for the time being. And then stick that wire in there. And that's the wrong way around again. Turn it around. As, it, as I say, alternating current matters which way you put it around. And there you go, you've got your flashing light inside a Lego brick. Which I think works really well. And the principle of the copper tape you may not see it now because obviously I could have just put this straight into the pack or I could have wired them together with a block. But actually you can wire off loads of LEDs off here. You can run about 30 I suppose, but you probably don't want to run too many because obviously it reduces the amount of power going to the LED. I tried to run all 66 off one power pack and they were very faint. So you can do some more soldering points or you can just put your soldering iron on that and weaken it again and put another wire in there which is a lot easier to do as opposed to doing lots of dots. The important thing is to stay away from the edges of the copper tape because obviously when you put your solder down there and then you take away, sometimes it'll pull it up. So keep away from that so it doesn't pull up. So that's the tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that gave you a little bit of insight into how I put all those lights in that building. It certainly wasn't easy. There was a lot of thought went into it, into how I can get that number of cables. I mean, 66 LEDs is a lot of red and black cables coming at the back. So it's how to make all that work. Bearing in mind, I need to be able to pick the building up. The important thing was what it looked like in the video and the atmosphere of the video. And I think that came across really well. If you haven't seen that video or any of the four previous updates, they're on the screen now. You can um, click on them. I would love it if you would watch the final update though. I really like the atmosphere in it, the night time, and then going into the bright gig venue, I think works really well. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Leave any comments you want. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye.